Let's play some Terraria on Linux, of course. So, for those of you who have never played this game, uh, it's sort of like a 2D Minecraft, but with a lot more items in it than Minecraft has, and honestly, a lot more content. I mean, I guess it depends on how you define content. Um, like, in terms of monsters and bosses, this game definitely takes the cake. Um, obviously, it's only got two dimensions, so maybe some people would argue Minecraft has uh, more depth to it, quite literally, than this game. But I like it a lot, and you guys will probably enjoy it too. There's also going to be more content added to it very soon with a patch that's coming out, I think, this weekend. That is supposed to be adding a whole lot more, like 100% more content to the game. I don't know if it's going to be, like, to the end, or if they're going to just sort of pepper it into all areas. Like, if they're going to add items to the beginning and to the middle. I'm definitely excited for some new endgame items, though, because I have beaten this game before. And the type of items that you can get endgame are insane like they're they're probably some of the most insane end game items that i've seen in any video game before and if they can top that somehow that'd be amazing all right so i got a pretty good amount of wood right now um another thing that i want to do uh during this patch before they update it is try to take advantage of an item duplication glitch uh just to kind of get ahead a little bit <laughs> in this game because it is something that's inside of the game so it's not really like a cheat per se i mean some people might say it is but it's not like you're modifying the game in some way or doing like an inventory editor because there are those uh types of things for this game as well um <laughs> just murder that rabbit uh but yeah i want to try to do a little bit of duping with at least some of the earlier items. You know, like, there's there's a certain point where you get in this game where at least two normal enemies that you see, you're it's they're basically no big deal. Because, um, like, right now, there's just regular enemies could probably do me in. Oh, nice, this is iron. There's also two different modes to this game. Well, there's different difficulties to the game. I'm actually playing it on the normal difficulty because I haven't played this game in a while and I'm going to get totally pwned if I try to do it on expert mode. Um, but right now, this is like, uh, I think they call it easy mode or maybe uh, normal mode, something else. Um, so there's sort of like one boss that you defeat that um, once once they are killed, then the world kind of changes, right? Like you don't ha necessarily have enemies like these slimes here that I can take care of pretty easily. You start getting harder and harder enemies. And, ooh, there's a lot of nice loot here. Ah, uh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Actually, let's loot all. And I want to take this chest as well. Uh, but yeah, once you kill the first, uh, sort of major boss, which I think is called the Wall of Flesh, if I remember correctly, then you basically unlock, uh, the deeper evil of the Terraria world. And then you gotta deal with harder bosses. And I think I'll just run through here stabbing. Cause let me see, did I see any chest? No. Yeah, so I'll just run through here stabbing. So I can get all the pots. And... I don't know why my torches are in two different things there. Oh, I'm definitely going to craft a campfire. Because that can help me with regenerating health. If I start getting swarmed by zombies or something like that. Because it is becoming nighttime, And just like in Minecraft, zombies and more difficult enemies come out at night. And I must be next to some corruption, because there's those things coming out at me. Which are pretty strong. They're much stronger than what I want to deal with now with the weapons I have, so... I'm actually gonna run away. 
into here where they have a little bit less of a flight advantage, but I can't see. So, uh, okay, I think this might work. I really need to heal though. And I can't stop to heal. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh <laughs> uh, no, this was such a bad idea to be out at night. <laughs> I have no ranged weapons. Ah, that sucks. Well, luckily I just dropped some coinage. Oh, another thing you can do too. So when you create your character, um, you can basically set whether you want it to be on, I think, softcore, which is like uh, the mode that my character is in, where you just drop coins when you die. And then there's another one which is called like normal difficulty, something like that, where you drop your coins and your items. And then there's a hardcore mode where when you're dead, you're dead. You don't come back. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be trying to play on that mode right now because I'm a bit of a noob at this game right now. I do wanna go back there and get my campfire though. Hmm. This is a bit of a predicament. I'm not actually safe up here, because an eye could come get me. Alright, so I'm gonna kill this zombie. Man, my sword is so weak. It's just like... It's like not even a sword. It says... I'll show you my inventory in a second, but... It says it's a copper short sword, but it's like a damn shank. It's like... It's like a prison weapon. This guy somehow got his hands on a forge and like melted down a bunch of pennies and made like a penny shank. All right, let's take this chest too. And I really want to go back and get my campfire, but I can't deal with this world during nighttime. Not yet. All right, let's go down here and see if we cannot find some ores. Oh yeah, this guy's got hops. All right, so what I don't want is for zombies like this guy to be basically falling on top of me. So I think this way he's gonna be below me. I don't think he can jump up here. Yeah, he tried. Alright, is this enough copper ore to do what I need to do? Oh, but I need a furnace to forge... Okay, let me see. I'm gonna make a workbench and... I want to just place it down somewhere to see what I can actually craft right now. Because I don't think I can make a furnace. I need something else, but I'm not sure what. I probably need stone. That would make sense. Alright, let's throw torch over here. Oh, nice. More rope. I got tons of rope, man. Alright, so let's get the rest of these ores, which I think will be enough. Because uh, basically for this item dupe glitch, you need to have... A few bars, like four bars, I think, of any kind. And you need to have a workbench. You need two item frames, which you can just make out of wood. And I think I need a sawmill to craft them at. And then there's this thing you can do where you basically throw, like, an item. It's only stackable items that it works on, so, like, certain weapons and stuff you can't do. But you can obviously dupe the materials to craft them, because almost all the materials in this game are stackable. And it just doubles them when you like throw them into the item frame. <clears throat> so that's what I want to do. Do a little bit of uh, 
accelerate accelerated progress in this game. Uh, probably at least up to the Wall of Flesh, because, like I said, I think that update is coming out tomorrow, and I can't imagine I'll play this game that much tonight. Especially when it's such a nice day outside. I'm gonna do some running. Alright, there's a wormy boy that's gonna try to attack me. I hear him digging. Oh, I got him good. I don't think he can reach me up here. Alright, let me kill these guys real quick. Oh, crap, this is a whole, like, slime orgy. I didn't order three slimes. No, I ordered- I didn't order four! I- oh man, I'm gonna die. Oh, yes, I got some health. Alright. I need to kill this worm. Why won't he come up here? This guy is such a little bitch. Oh wait, okay, he's gonna come to me now. There we go. That digging sound that they make is so annoying. <laughs> like, drives me nuts. Okay, so... Now that things have settled down a little bit, let's place this figure out what I actually need to craft some stuff. So the item frame should be in here. Um... Oh wait, that's right. I need to craft that out of sawmill. Uh, so what can I actually make? Can I make anything useful? I guess some doors, but I'm not really gonna need that now. Um... Do I even want to bother? <laughs> with wood armor. I don't think I do. I might... Uh, nah, because I got shurikens. That's gonna be better. Pretty sure shurikens are better. So, nah, I'll just live off of the loot that I'm getting in these little pots and stuff. For now. Until I at least have what I need to craft a furnace. I, let me actually try to get just some stone. Because that's probably what I need, but I don't know how much. Alright, that's gotta be enough. Let's see. There we go. Furnace. Okay, yeah. Stone, torch, wood. There we go. So we got a furnace. And let me see if I can make all the ores I need. Um, let's see, I just gotta clear up this grub. Oh, blink root. I can use that to make potions. Alright, so let's do... Iron bars. Okay, cool, we got enough. And we might as well do... Um, hmm, anvil. I don't think I actually need that to do the glitch. So I got my bars. I need to find the sawmill, though. Oh, I wonder if I can craft a sawmill now that I got iron bars. Mmm... No... Okay. Let's just keep getting stuff in this cave. We might just find a straight-up sawmill. Okay, that's a red slime. I think those are a little bit more powerful. Oh yeah. This guy's got a lot of health. And this is not a good place to be because of... Those, those slimes are basically blocking me from breathing. Okay, I am about to die. Oh crap, they can jump up here. Um, alright, let's use shurikens. It would really help if I could actually hit them, though. <laughs> it's so hard to fight these guys when you're on, like, an uneven surface. There we go. 
Holy cow. I am so low on health. Um, let's do... Sure. Healing potion. I mean, imagine if I did this on expert mode. This would be so bad. Oh, he's like stuck up there. Or is that a different one? I don't know. He's actually got a potion inside of him. Um, where? Yeah, here's my shurikens. Okay, wormhole potion, which I don't think I can actually use because that's like a multiplayer item. I can't see what's up here. All right, nothing that can murder me. Um, let me break this down. I should be using some of this rope. Actually, that's pretty useless right there. All right, what did I get? More torches. Right? Didn't say I got torches. I've only got seven. Okay, never mind. Do I have glow sticks? I do. Let's use some of these bad boys. Ah, damn. I am not very good at this game, am I? <laughs> Man, it has been a while. But also, I've got pretty shit tier weapons, so... Okay, so three of you guys, we've talked about this. I only want to deal with one slime at a time. Actually, I should just use my shurikens, because I think this does, like, uh, piercing damage. Oh, fuck. Can I get out of here? Okay, this is not good. This dude will not let me leave. He's trying to drown me. Alright, there we go. Now I got like a little... A little slime arena that I can try to fight these guys on. Or actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pave over top of you. Because you've been very rude so far. And... Yeah, there you go. Now you're stuck down there. Alright, nothing up there. I want to find, like, a little... Uh, abandoned... Underground house. They have those, and they usually have sawmills and stuff in them. Alright, I actually need to kill you so that I can make torches out of your organs. Holy cow, that's three of them stacked on top of- oh yeah! I forgot that there were a bunch of them. Well, this is perfect. Yep, just come into the little hole, and I'll stab you, and then I'll harvest all of your slime. Or your gel, rather, that you're made out of. And I fell into a hole, and this is not good. Alright, I need to build out. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm about to drown. I can't fucking see. Okay, I need to think quickly. Never mind, I'm about to drown. Oh, oh, thank you. Air. Okay, dude, really? Don't. <laughs> this is such a bad spot to be in. There's two of them? Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? All right, I need to dig out of here. All right, I think I killed one of them. You know, I don't even know why I'm switching weapons between the pickaxe and the sword, because they do, like, what? They do the same amount of damage, right? It's not like one is that much better than the other. We're talking about copper weaponry here. 
It'll matter more when you get up to the weapons that are like... Well, the weapons that you can't even craft. <laughs> That's when the damage uh, really starts to matter. Alright, shuriken... Uh, red slimes, I really do not want to fight you guys right now. I should be using these glow sticks a bit more. I mean, they literally come out of the pots. I just wish they didn't bounce so much, because I want a glow stick to be, like, right in this little room over here. Where did that slime go? Okay, there he is. Oh, I almost landed right on top of him. All right, well, yeah, whatever. Go down there. Got torches for days now. And I want that iron, but I also do not want sand to fall on top of me, because I think that's what that is. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I can mine this without dying. Oh, there's more water there, too. Okay. Well, this is fine. This isn't high enough to drown me. I might have enough to go craft some iron stuff now, which I might just do for the sake of uh, not dying. Because the copper life is rough right now. Iron's not going to be much better, but it is something. Yeah, see that sand falls when you uh, mine something underneath it, so it can be a little bit dangerous. Oh man, I want to put a torch up there. Come on, place. There we go. Oh, there's a pot right here. Wooden arrows, nice. Do I have a lot of arrows? Okay, yeah, I got 63. It was automatically putting them there. Can I put my shurikens? In here? No, I can't. I guess that makes sense, because you just throw them by themselves. Actually, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this copper. I don't even really want that stuff. I mean, I guess I could make copper armor with it, but... I'm really hoping I could just get this duper set up and dupe my iron and be done with this. It's taken forever to find like underground houses or anything like that. Oh, there's a trap right there. All right, let me get that button or that pressure plate. There's wire that's here too, but I can't actually see it to get it. Alright, so yellow slime, you do not look like something I want to deal with. So let's do this. Since I've gone into a desert biome, let's go to the right. Because desert biome is going to be more difficult than the grass biome to deal with. Enemies are stronger, and that's not what you want to deal with when you're living the copper life. The copper life is the pacifist life. You don't want conflict when all you've got to defend yourself with is copper. Oh, okay. So this is this is how we're gonna do it. Okay. Three at a time. Did that yellow slime is that just a regular yellow slime or is that like a desert slime? I think it's that same yellow slime, and he must have some serious hops to have gotten all the way up here.
Okay, yeah, they must just be spawning here. Oh, damn. All right, let's see how much health this guy has. Oh, a lot, and I can only do one damage to him, and he can double hit me. Nice. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna build a wall to keep you out. And, you know, move on about my day. Because like I said, I'm living that copper life. Actually, let's come up here real quick, since my crafting bench is right here, and see if I can try to live that iron life. So I'm gonna got 16. What can I craft with that? Oh yeah, because I still have to make the iron anvil. Alright, so now what can I make with this? I could make an iron bow. I could make a toilet. <laughs> um, hmm. I could make a broadsword. I might be able to swing a broadsword over my head, which would make it a much better weapon. But you know what? I'm gonna save up because I think it's just called a long sword instead of a short sword. I don't really know for sure. So I'm gonna save up and find out. You know what, since I've got so much rope, I'm just gonna start digging straight down. Oh, but I will dig to the sides for iron ore, though. Do you see all these slimes that are just gathering at this wall? This is, this is a little bit concerning. I hope my wall holds up. I hope it's powerful enough. These slimes are trying to come in here and ruin everything. Actually, I just got an idea. Can I make at least an iron pickaxe? Because that way at least I can dig quicker. Let's see, iron axe, iron hammer. No, I don't see the pickaxe. Um, let me see, maybe I need just like one more bar. Maybe, hopefully. Okay. I'm gonna wait till I have at least a couple more, because, like I said, I wanna be able to, to dupe that iron, unless I find gold. If I find gold, then, you know, all of a sudden iron's not gonna be as sacred, because we'll skip the whole Iron Age dupe and just go straight for the Golden Age dupe. Or anything else better. I think I can make silver weaponry as well, and silver weaponry is, uh, stronger. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm like 99% sure I can make gold, though. Alright, I can still reach this, right? Okay. Wormhole potions. Alright, is there anything interesting over here? There's something that's, like, glowing. I don't know what... Oh, this might be, like, a, um, a fungus area. Which is kind of good. I can get some fungus that I'll need later. Or that I can just duplicate so that I'll have an unlimited supply. Oh yeah, I'm hitting mud. I think this is going to be a fungus area. 
Let's actually stop for a second, make sure we're not gonna do something stupid. Cause I think I actually am about to hit water. Can't tell if I'm digging underwater or... Okay, I'm underwater. Mm. All right, I'm actually not even gonna deal with that place. Looks like it's gonna be a bit too much work to get into. Also, I didn't see any mushrooms immediately in the vicinity, so who knows if they're even in there. We will go onwards down. All right, there's a little opening in here. And I think I see more iron. Uh, no, that's not my rope. Yeah, that's more iron. All right, so now I have enough for some sacred bars that I can potentially dupe. Go make that pickaxe. All right, so now we have that. Sacred bars. And I'm starting to get a lot of stuff, so let's actually just put a chest down here since it might be a little while before we come back up. Uh, don't really need that. I'll keep the gel. Recall I'll keep. Okay, he can reach me. Actually, my iron pickaxe probably does more damage than my sword. Yeah. Or at least it's on par with it. Um, yeah, let me deposit a couple more things. Okay, let's put in acorns, mud block, bars, and this. God, these worms are being jerks. I'm just gonna go dig in my hole, and you know what, dude? If you wanna come up behind me and get got, that's your that's your prerogative. All right, I broke my rope a little bit. Let's mend that. And redrop my glowy. Put more rope. Oh, I should have kept... Okay, I did keep the cobweb. I can make ropes out of cobwebs, too. Um, can I just craft them in my inventory? I can, sweet. Yeah, so when I run out of regular rope, I'm just gonna start crafting web rope. Okay, that that was not great. Um, drink that so I don't die. And can I just mine this so that it can't kill me? Or is it gonna go off if I shoot it? Okay, there we go. And I also want that dart shooter. Is this thing, okay, that's just a worm. All right, I want this thing. And was that all that's in here? Just a dart trap? Oh, that is something nice. 
Is this silver? Platinum. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So we're not even going to go to the Golden Age. We're going to go to the Platinum Age. As soon as I got all the stuff that I need to, uh, to dupe this stuff. Alright, I found another little uh, place where there's these glowing jellyfish. They are not friendly though, so I don't really want to go in there unless there's a good reason to. I think I see iron, but you know, the iron it just doesn't have that much appeal when I've got 34 platinum in my inventory. Alright, I really don't want to take both of you at the same time, but I guess you're not going to give me a choice, huh? Well, this guy's got... what is that, an ore inside of him? I'm just gonna sit here swinging. And he does so much more damage than I do. I didn't even see what I got from him. I'm guessing it's some type of ore. Man, I cannot see a thing in here. Alright, what is this? This more platinum? Ah, uh, that's silver ore. I assume that the platinum is better than the silver, though. So, you know, I'll just get this to make, like, some furniture and stuff when I do finally build a proper house. And I found Mushroom Land, sweet. Let's see what we can get out of here, anything useful. I'll just take this iron ore real quick since I stumbled upon it so easily. I almost want to go back and make a platinum pickaxe, if I can, or like a platinum sword. Because I've got so much of it, I can probably do that. Let's make this up a little bit more. All right, there we go. All right, what's over here? Nothing. And okay, those bats aren't too strong. Oh, what is this? Oh, crap. Okay, this is not a good place to be with piranhas. Well, that sucks. But I did find a whole little world down there. I hope it's not nighttime. Okay, it's not quite nighttime. Let's run back. Actually, does this guy sell anything or does he just run his mouth? Oh, you can craft stuff for me? Oh. So what do I... Okay. Yeah, you just run your mouth. You don't do anything useful. I need to forge ahead to get my, um... To get my sawmill. That's really the, the last thing that I need right now. 
And I might honestly just look up how to craft it myself. Because I'm getting a little bit impatient for it. Alright, so for the sawmill, I need chains. Ten chains and ten wood. Okay, so let's just get that. Um, yeah, I should have enough of everything I need, because I can make chains out of iron. Oh yeah, there we go. Ten chains. I've already got ten wood. Go to my anvil. Where is... my sawmill? Didn't it say ten chains and ten wood? Oh, I also need two bars. Okay. Let's make more iron bars. Might as well turn all of my stuff into bars. Silver bars. Platinum bars. All right, now I can make a bunch of stuff, see? Platinum sword is gonna be way better. And I think, yeah, okay, so I think broadsword is just the big sword. Makes sense. Why do I still not see my sawmill? Or maybe I need to be close to the crafting bench? Okay, I'm still not seeing the sawmill. Did Google lie to me? This wouldn't be the first time. I've got chains, bars, and wood. And it's made at a crafting table. Or at a workbench, rather. But I'm not seeing it. Oh wait, here it is. Okay, I feel dumb if that was there the whole time. <laughs> or at least I feel blind, because I could not see it. Okay, um, let us loot all. Let's go back to the surface to do this thing, where it's a little bit safer. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> that is much easier to do. Alright, jump up here. Yeah, my building skills are so nice. And then let's go inside of, uh, I guess, our little makeshift home. I'm gonna build some walls on the out- Yeah, you better get in, man. Otherwise, you're gonna be, you know, stuck on the outside. You're not gonna be able to get back in. Okay. So, what I need to do this... Is I need to place... 
Well, let me clear out this spot real quick. Oh man, that's a tough little worm. He survived an axe chop. All right, so what I need to do is place the bars. in a two by two. Then I need to put a chest on top of the bars. Then I need to break the bottom two bars. So now we got a floating chest. And I need to put the workbench underneath it. And then I need to break the chest. And I also need to craft my item frames because I don't have any yet. Let me do that real quick. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the order of it. All right, and I think I need two. All right, so place an item frame where the chest was. And then break the workbench. Okay. That did not work. And this slime guy has got to go. All right, must have just been doing this in the wrong order. So, to dupe this stuff, I need to place four bars in a two by two. Then I need to put a chest on top of the bars. Then I need to break the bottom two bars in the two by two. So now I just have a floating chest with two bars. Then I need to put a workbench in place of those two bars. Then I need to break the chest. And then I need to place an item frame in place of that chest. And then I need to break the workbench. And everything falls down. All right, I figured out what I was doing wrong. So, to do, to make your duplication machine, place four bars. And then, actually I need this all to be on the same line. Then, place your chest on top. Then remove two bars from the bottom. Put a workbench underneath. Remove the chest, put an item frame in its place, and then remove the workbench, but you gotta hit it from the right side. And then you can put another item frame and just duplicate an item frame. So let me duplicate some more stuff, like this. Okay, so you gotta put it in the top guy. And yeah, there we go. All the glow sticks you could possibly want. All right, so let's get some cool stuff going. This is actually way too many glow sticks. 
This is like a really absurd amount. All right, let's do it with platinum bars. So this is actually what we've been looking to get. Okay, I got a lot now. Let's go ahead and uh, start making sort of like a little makeshift home here. I mean, not really. Mostly just gonna craft a bunch of good items and then murder all these bad guys outside. Um, what am I looking for? Anvil. There we go. Alright, so furnace. Anvil. And let me get rid of more of this stuff that I do not need. Okay, so let's craft all of our platinum armor. Um, is chain mail the best, or is it... Okay, there's no plate mail, so we'll do that. We'll do a platinum helmet. And, uh, sure, let's do a platinum bow. And platinum broadsword. Don't need that anymore. Um, platinum axe. Sure. Don't need that anymore. Platinum pick. Sure. Don't need the iron boy anymore. Oh, nice. I got a good modifier on both of these things. Alright, so, uh, yeah, you know, those zombies that used to be so tough and uh, dangerous for me to face, well, now, all of a sudden, I can kill them in a couple of hits. And they can't kill me in a couple of hits. Same goes for you, eye boy. I also want some of those fallen stars too, because I can duplicate those to make um, some really good arrows. Uh, you can make jester arrows, which basically have penetrative abilities, so you can go through multiple enemies. Which is exactly what we want. I also want to get these sunflowers, because these... Um, I believe they increase both your life, and I know they increase your speed. Well, not increase your life, but they, like, help you to heal, so I'm just gonna mine those real quick. And I want this campfire back, as well as my little bit of silver that I dropped. <sighs> See, like, normally something like this would be a death sentence, but, you know, now that I have full platinum gear, it, uh, isn't just that big a deal. Even this jumping zombie, you know, he just jumps right into my sword, and then all is taken care of. And it's not quite a full moon yet. It's halfway there. So on a full moon, you get... Pretty sure it's werewolves that come out. And then there's also another type of random event called a blood moon, where a lot of enemies come out. So I definitely want to make sure that I'm equipped to fight by then. Platinum is pretty good, but we can do much better than platinum. There's actually an item that we can get from... Uh, over in the Corruption, I think, a type of ore called Demonite, which I think is the strongest ore that you can get before um, unlocking the more difficult part of the game, where all the enemies get stronger. Alright, so let's finish clearing this out. And I actually want to try to see if I can do that. Okay, great. Oh, I know what else I want to do. Can I do this or is it going to use it? Okay, great. So I can use this to get full health real quick. Wait a minute, I don't actually have more than one of those. Oh, I guess you need to have 
two in order for the duplication to work. Okay. Well, I got this, and it didn't actually increase my mana. Hmm. That is odd. more of those glow sticks. Um, let's actually double our chest real quick. And can I just stack these one on top of another? Nah, I gotta have something like separating them. Oh, I can't even do that. Damn, that sucks. Alright. Um, these trees, they gotta go. I gotta make an actual proper house. Hmm, I should do some fletching to get arrows real quick. And just go full ranged. Alright, let's deposit all. And yeah, I think that's all I need. And then double up some of these real quick. And then I want to be able to make Chester arrows. Hmm. So does the dupe not really work on the fallen star? Or is there something else that I needed to dupe that I was missing? See, I guess we can test it on flaming arrows. Let's see, how many flaming arrows does it let me craft? Oh, you need wooden arrows. That's what it is. Okay. I think that's enough arrows, guys. I don't quite think it's enough arrows. Alright, I think that's enough now. <laughs> Take these out. Alright, so let's make 999 Jester arrows real quick. Oh, let me make sure I got some fallen stars saved somewhere. Okay, I do. Okay, so let's see how much these guys enjoy my Jester arrows. I think they like them, guys. I think they enjoy my Jester arrows. Even this guy does. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty OP for these enemies now. So I want to find... At least one more heart crystal, so I can try to duplicate those and get full health. Because basically what the heart crystal does is you can consume it, and then you get more health, like your maximum health actually increases. You can also use it to craft heart lanterns, which is a light source that also gives you health if you stand by it, and it stacks with the campfire ability, because that's what the campfire also does. So it's gonna be really good to duplicate a lot of those to make the Heart Lanterns because basically when you fight bosses, the best thing to do, especially for the later game bosses, is build 
sort of an arena to give yourself an advantage. Because if you just fight them out in the open, unless you have some end game weapons or you're just really good at the game, which I'm obviously not, uh, you're gonna get smashed. And uh, I just realized that I should have brought more rope with me, but I didn't. So now I gotta go all the way back. Uh, go up here. So let's bring some infinite glow sticks and some infinite torches. And, um, you know, I should make a bunch of fire arrows too. Let's actually just do that real quick. Oh, that's a big slime, man. He's got an umbrella. You know, if he comes in here, I'm just gonna murder him. Oh, look how much damage that my Jester arrows do with my uh, <laughs> platinum bow. That's amazing. And it's got the murderous modifier, so it's extra strong. All right, we doubled that and. Craft up these arrows real quick. There we go. So I got adjuster arrows and then flaming arrows for backup. Let's depot all this stuff I don't need. Ah, yeah, sure, I'll just put arrow crafting stuff in this box. And let's not forget our rope. Which I'm just gonna do a butt ton of real quick. Uh, let's do one more. All right. So we got enough rope to dig straight down, uh, probably all the way to hell, honestly. And you know what? I'm not even gonna go down that little path. I'm just gonna dig. Well, like I said, straight down. I'm gonna do it close to home though, so it's easy to just come up and get stuff. And I'll actually take a teleportation potion with me too, since, um, oh, I got more than one, nice. So let's just do those. And then I'll be able to get back quick. Do I have a modifier for this? Uh, it's just a regular... It's just a regular pickaxe. Oh well. Wow, now the slowest part is going to be running into cobwebs. Because my platinum pick, it just shreds through this dirt. 
And this is far from being the best pickaxe too, by the way. There's much better ones to come. All right, so now this is gonna be a tricky thing to do, right? Going through water. Let's see if I can dig fast enough to where the water basically can't keep up. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh wait, okay, we got lucky. Just jump over here and breathe for a sec. Okay, we're about to be in a bad spot. Uh, I'm just gonna drink a uh, recall potion now. Place these ropes for a little bit. All right, there we go. So now I have a safety rope that I could just go up. Well, not really anymore, because <laughs> now we can't reach it. But I'm going to run in this little room real quick and breathe. All right, come in here and breathe. And back to mine. Breathe, and back to mining. That's underwater Mining 101. Don't even care about the iron. It no longer interests me. As you can clearly see, I am a Platinum Card member. Who is about to drown again, but... You know, it doesn't really matter, because we can just teleport back. <laughs> I wish there was something I could wear to, like, weigh myself down so I can go to the bottom of this water quicker. Alright, do I want to just try to stick it out and go through this? Yeah, I will. Come on, make it! Oh, oh man, that was close. And I don't have a health potion. <laughs> So, yeah, this is a bit of an awkward position. Now, I should probably do some exploring eventually to see if I can find some, uh, some of those health crystals. Ah, no, no, sink! Ah, man, that one little ledge killed me. That one little ledge that was sticking out. At least the water drained out from this area. But now there's like a stack of water that I gotta go through. And I don't think it's draining anymore. 
Okay, I probably should have dropped a glow stick before I came down here. I am very hurt, but I found a minecart that I need to somehow get back up to. And there's also like a frog or something <laughs> that's riveting at me. I think it's whatever that thing right there is. Alright. So we're on our minecart. Let's see if we can find another heart crystal. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. Man, I wish I had a permanent light source. Oh, gray slimes. Those are very hard to see in this environment, and it also looks like they have quite a bit of health. Oh, this guy is uh, not a great guy. Oh, snap, and he killed me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back down there again, because I know that there's going to be something good somewhere along that uh, minecart shaft, but let's be a little bit smarter. Let's actually bring healing potions with us. Alright, that's way more than I'm ever probably gonna use, because there's greater healing potions that I can get eventually, but... You know, we'll deal with it for now, because... When you have an item duplicator, it's not really a good idea to complain about having too much stuff, right? Otherwise, don't build an item duplicator. Alright, let's ride these rails some more. Oh, there's like, uh, crystals up there. I don't know what kind that is. But it's some kind. I actually think that's diamond over there. That, like, slightly light blue one I saw. But I want the heart crystal. That's what I'm after. I am after all of your heart crystals. Oh, this is where I was before. Okay, so it came full circle. Ha! Ah, two side by side. That's perfect. Um, okay, you're actually in the way. I need to place you like, I don't know, I guess there. There we go. Mine both of these bad boys. Teleport home. All right, now let's get some really shameless duping going. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And now I can just do this. There we go. A little bit harder to die now. All right. I think I'm going to cut the Let's Play here because I've been playing for over an hour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what other games you want me to play. If you want me to play more Terraria, I'm probably going to go kill uh, the first boss in this game pretty soon. 